Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Tonight I am talking about John Della Rose and some of the things that he is releasing as well as talking about how I did not know about him. And he is in my purview. Tonight's beer is nothing worth mentioning because I am drinking some really, really cheap beer because, well, I need to drink cheap beer this week. With that being said, let's get into it. John Della Rose is an indie comic book creator. <clears throat> nope, not that screen. Yep, that screen. That screen's the one I want to go with. <laughs> uh, this is John Della Rose's website. And I went to it just to look him up because I have been asked several times to cover his Overmind. I've heard great things about Overmind. Um, from subscribers of the channel who have commented that I need to uh, cover uh, this. Uh, I don't have the money for Overmind right now. I have spent way too much money on comic books in the last month. And uh, I'm kind of running up against that wall between like paying bills and then trying to do all of this content for the channel. So I need to figure out a way to round that. But regardless of all of that, if you guys like what I'm doing here, subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing here, like the video as well. If you think what I'm doing here is absolutely mind boggling, you need to share this video with everyone that you know on all of your socials because that is how we're going to grow and that's how we're going to build this fan culture. My goal of this channel is to cover the indie comics creators of the Iron Age the way that the big two have been covered. We're going to be doing full stories, full story lines, covering the books, going through it like a lot of these guys have been doing, doing reviews of the books after the storylines are covered, and so on. So I want you guys here for that, and let me know what you think. So the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction, that threw me off a little bit because I did not know who John De La Rose was. Uh, and he wasn't in my purview really until, again, a lot of people on the Ripperverse videos were commenting like, hey, it'd be really cool if you covered this. Um, obviously, I'm going to be covering the Ripperverse on the channel with the full storyline of Isom number one uh, and a review of the book afterwards. I am already currently reading <clears throat> uh, Clownfish TV's Shadowbinders Volume 1 and 2, which I should be starting work on those videos this weekend. Hopefully, I have to figure out how exactly I'm going to pull all that together. And then I am waiting for Gabe El Tayyib's Truth, Justice, and American Way uh, to start printing and shipping because I actually am already uh, 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 on that pre-order. And then Crimson Ren by Cl Clownfish TV. This is another guy here, and he has already helped my channel out, as the title says. John Della Rose has this little thing right here, Claim Your Free Books, that's down here in the bottom right-hand corner when you go to his website. And this is to claim your free books all you have to do is join his mailing list because currently I think he is actually down on Twitter. So let's get into it. The leading Hispanic voice in science fiction. He's got books, graphic novels. Here's his store up here. And what is he selling here? What kind of books? He has a ton of them. I think he's up to like 17 or 20 or something like that right now. Um, <clears throat> and these three here, I have already signed up for his newsletters uh, first in the series, first in the series, justified first in the series. So I am already, uh, I already have these uh, three free books down here. So I will actually start reading those after I am done with Shadow Binders and start getting those up on the channel. I am hopefully going to be able to clear a bunch of stuff. Uh, this uh, Star Realms here, this rescue run looks really, really interesting to me. So we're going to get story breakdowns of that first. Um, but we're probably going to have like a John Della Rose day on the channel, which I will let you guys know I need to get a schedule out for the channel. So John Della Rose is a conservative leaning artist, writer, uh, and has been in a lot of stuff. I had to do some research to figure out exactly who he was and who I, who I was dealing with. Uh, before I decided to cover this. So I went over to his YouTube page, and the first thing that caught my eye is this video right here. Keffels gets me suspended on Twitter for telling the truth. So that caught my eye for a very specific reason, because if you know anything of what's going on in that whole crazy BS online, Ricada Law has been talking about this for about a week now, and it is... Just internet meltdown 
on a scale that's just insane because meltdowns get the clicks, right? That's one of the reasons that I'm worried this channel will grow is because I don't want to do the meltdown stuff. I want, I will try to do clickbaity titles, but I want to do positive videos. So I want to clickbait the title so you go, what the hell? And then you click on the thing and then you come here and go, oh, this guy's really positive. So that's what I am trying to do. After lis- I'm, I'm just listening to a podcast that John De La Rose did over on Safe Space about six months ago. And he was talking about doing clickbait titles and stuff like that and changing how his titles are uh, work for the YouTube algorithm and what's growing his channel over there. And I'm looking at the fact that this guy is giving away three free digital comics just so you can stay in touch with him. So if he does go down on Twitter, he can still keep up dating you as to what's going on. I absolutely believe in that. I think that from what I've listened to, John Della Rose does have a value set that mostly aligns with mine. I won't say completely because everybody is different. Everybody is 100% different than the person standing next to them. Even though you may have uh, similar values, a person is so complex and so deep that no two individuals are the same, although it may appear like that to the outside world. So with all of this being said, I think that John Della Rose and the Clownfish TV um, uh, Shadow Binders are going to be the first two comic book storylines that I do here on the channel. Again, I already have the, uh, the books digitally, so I will get to those as soon as I can. I am very interested in Overmind, but like I said, I'm kind of running up against the money wall right now. That's kind of one of those things that hopefully, I don't know, maybe if the channel grows and YouTube deems me worthy enough, they could probably pay for the comic books that I need to look into. So with all of that being said, what do you guys think about John Della Rose? Have you heard of him? I have heard from so many subscribers on the channel that his Overmind is utterly fantastic and people are absolutely losing it over his Overmind comic or pulp or graphic novel or however he's doing it. I'm not quite sure. It seems like he kind of he kind of bridges the gaps between a lot of different subcultures there in writing, but he mostly is a fan of comic books, so he does his stuff in comic book style. Again, not knowing really who he was, the fact of the matter is, is when I went to his website and he's like, hey, just join my mailing list. Here's three free comic books. I'm assuming that these are older runs. He's probably made his money off of them, but still, that's a huge That's a huge thing for any creator out there to say, hey, just do this thing for me and I will give this back to you. It's one of the things that I struggle with here on the channel is what can I do for you to get you to subscribe to the channel? Because I doubt it's my lovely voice. (laughs) I have to, I feel like I have to give you guys more than just my personality, but hopefully for right now, my personality will be enough for you because, well, that's what I can give. I just don't have enough time in the day to figure out everything between the day job and between doing these videos every night as much as I can. And then on the weekends, I'm going to start doing major editing projects and it's all going to get a little insane from here. The sky is the limit for the Iron Age. And here is the fact of the matter is the reason that I'm doing all of this. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we need to build a fan culture around the Iron Age that gets the coverage and gets the notoriety and the excitement and the videos out there discussing these projects in the same way that the big two have for years. That's why I have said I'm going to be do, doing full story breakdowns, full story runs. You know, I'm I'm figuring out exactly how I'm going to work all that. But for one comic book, there will be multiple videos. You guys will get to see multiple weekly releases from one book, going through the story, having fun with it. No, I'm not going to sit there and just read it line for line. I'm going to go through, give synopsis of the story, but have a fun time with it, similar to how other channels have with the big two. You've all seen the channels out there that cover the storylines. They go through what's happening. They go through what's going on. They show the panels. They do the cool pans and crops and scrolls. That's what I am hopeful to do with this channel. And John Della Rose gave me a huge bump and helped me out so much when he said, here, here's three free comics. Thank you for signing up for the newsletter. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys like this video. This, I kind of, I wasn't sure how I was going to talk about this because I'm still new to John Della Rose, but I'm not going to be new to him uh, for very long. I'm going to start reading some of his stuff here very, very soon. And if all of you like what I'm doing here, again, subscribe here. But YouTube kind of sucks at notifications, even if you ring the notification bell and you hit all under the notifications settings. So what I would like everybody to do, if you plan 
plan on sticking around with a drink with crazy and seeing what's happening i would absolutely love it if you go in the description below find that gilded server right i want you guys to click on that that's going to send you guys an application you're going to be it's going to ask you a question why do you want to join the server well you should say hey i want to join the server because pink purple fluffy puppy dogs that's that's the thing pink purple fluffy puppy dogs that's if you see this video you're joining my gilded server because of that and you just so feel the need that you need to type in pink purple fluffy puppy dogs that's what you type in in the application and i will bring you guys into the server over there on the server we keep it mostly no, we're degenerates. We're absolutely degenerates. But, you know, people are in there having fun. They're communicating with each other. They're talking with each other. They're sharing their work days with each other. Food that we eat. They're sharing, talking about comic books. They're building a community around this fandom that we need to do. We need to build the fandom culture for the Iron Age. So stand with me. Stand tall. Stand proud. Stand loud. And let's get the fan, the fandom, the fan culture of the Iron Age to be heard. So thank you all so much for watching A Drink With Crazy, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.